Before I make my first three salads, I'm going to do some of the make some of the ingredients that I'm going to add to the salad. Now, Casper's original uh, salad that he made at, at Zanavu with the wontons, the toasted sesame seeds, and almonds. Oftentimes, when we're doing demos, we get asked, "Where do you get the wontons? Where do you get the wontons? Or how do you make them?" Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, you buy a package of one. Uh, fresh wontons. They're in the refrigerated section in produce, usually where you see the to tofu and other, other Asian products. And just buy these wonton strips. I got round ones. They didn't have square ones, but you could get either one. Um, and it's better to make them yourself because it's so easy. Let me just open this package and pull out a bunch. See, they're real thin little strips, and what we do is, you know, you wiggle them like this, you know, so that they separate, and then you cut them into strips like this with a knife, and they fall apart. And I have on our uh, Camp Chef uh, three burner stove, I have a Camp Chef Dutch oven deep fryer. And I turned it on a little while ago. It's up to 350 degrees. That's where you want it. And I'm just going to throw these little guys in. Just brown these for about 15 20 seconds. They're done. We'll let them sit on here and. Let it drip and then put them on a paper towel in front of us. And in the meantime, I've been toasting some sesame seeds on a cast iron skillet on this Camp Chef Pro 60 oven. I've had these sesame seeds in this cast iron skillet with nothing, it's just a dry cast iron skillet on the lowest heat possible. They've been on here for about um, a half hour or so. Sesame seeds take a long time to toast. Now I'm going to add the almonds to this mix. The almonds toast much faster and I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. and I let, the, let them toast. I've also prepped ahead for my entree salads. I've put on some chicken breast, two, chi ch two chicken breasts that um, were marinated in the original Casper sesame vinaigrette and one breast, the bigger one, marinated in the Italian dressing. They only need to marinate for about four hours. And I've put them on this grill and then I marinated a sirloin steak in the spicy Thai peanut dressing and have put it on this grill. They're just about finished. I'm just keeping them warm now until I'm ready to cut them and put them on my entree salads. And all I do is use a Ziploc bag for all my marinating. You can use the least amount of dressing because you could move it around and it coats it really well and the beef usually marinate overnight. Chicken only takes about four hours. Let's make our salads. First is the classic, what we call Casper's signature salad, and it has the same ingredients as the Thai, so I'm gonna make the two at the same time. I'm gonna add some of the fried wontons. And I finished my ses toasted sesame seeds and almonds. Put a little of those on there, not too much. And then for this dressing, for Casper's original dressing, we'll shake this bottle really good. And it just takes a drizzle. You see how little I used. Um, 
This is probably enough for two side salads. The same with the Thai dressing. I made a bunch and I transferred it into these mixers for easy storage because I'm not going to use it all. Just a little bit on there. And then take tongs and a spoon. And toss that. Get a different spatula here and toss the Thai peanut. Now these have the same ingredients, but two completely different flavors. Now, going to the Italian one, in this one, put a few whole black olives. Some sliced red onions. These are cherry tomatoes, halved. I didn't seed them, I just halved them and left the seeds in. And then I'll get another pair of tongs. Get this beautiful Italian dressing and add a little bit of it. And you notice how little I'm putting on. I tell all our customers and guests that when you do use Casper's dressing, even with the new combinations that I make, always use half as much as you would use in a normal dressing. And I guarantee you it will coat everything and be flavorful with just half as much. Okay, so now we have our um, Casper's original dressing, the spicy Thai peanut, and a chopped Italian dressing. Now to complete the entree salads, I'll take this spicy Thai peanut salad and pair it with the beef. Grilled chicken breasts. And I'll put some of the Italian salad here. and Casper's original dressing I'll put with the chicken marinated in the Casper's dressing. Very simple, easy, and I'll top the Italian entree salad with some Parmesan cheese. Just a little, give it some sharpness. And there we have it. A Casper's original entree salad with grilled chicken, a chopped Italian salad with grilled chicken, and a spicy Thai peanut salad with grilled beef.